here we are. We're in Seoul. It is raining outside right now. Have not been out to look around. The time difference was crazy. It's 13 hours ahead of what I previously was in, so I'm in the future now. Um, it's very quiet. It's very quiet here. I'm like having a lot of existential thoughts and I'm like, did I do the right thing? Like, there's no going back at this point, so I have to accept it. And if I'm going to be lonely, at least I'll be lonely in a cool city. I'm really scared of that because I was, I get lonely a lot while solo traveling. For me, it's the hardest part of solo traveling. If it, if it weren't for that, I'd have no problem with it. All the other things, piece of cake. I had a very huge struggle getting here though. And what's new, I have problems every single time going to these countries. And if someone was like new to traveling and stuff, I'm like the airports and airlines and stuff, they don't make it easy on people. Getting into Korea is probably one of the hardest countries uh, that I've had to get into thus far um, related to COVID and stuff like that. And the problem I had at the airport, I had to fly from Pittsburgh to New York. And the New York airport, I had to recheck in, which I, you typically have to do. Oh. It was also like a layover was really short, so I didn't have a lot of time to, to recheck in. And she's like, did you apply for your, your e-visa? I'm like, yeah, that, yeah, like last week. And the lady showed it to me and I pointed the wrong passport number. I'm like, oh shit. She's like, you're gonna have to reapply. And with a visa, e visa, you just do this way in advance because you don't know how long it's gonna take. It could take up to two days to get approved for. So I thought I had gotten approved. I got an email that said that it was approved or something, but it was the wrong passport number. So the very last second, I, I reapplied really fast, as fast as I could. Everybody checked in, like I was the only one there at the check-in uh, table in, in Korean Airlines. I'm just like, my heart is burning. My stomach is burning. I can't have meltdowns in these moments. It is what it is. Like I was in New York. I was just, I was in panic. And the very last second I saw the approval and it, it took like half an hour. And so I ran through the uh, security and like I had to cut in front of everybody. I'm just, please let me cut in front of you. I'm like, uh, run, 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 run. Get to the, the gate, uh, get in the plane and then have a 15 hour plane ride. That is the longest plane ride I have ever been on in my life. My whole body was hurting after sitting for that long, like 15 hours. This is why I have to make it work here because I cannot take that flight again. I can't do it. No, please no. And then I got off the flight and I'm like, there's a bunch more stuff I have to do. Before that, I had to get a COVID test within 24 hours. And then I also had to make a QR code thing. I had to submit all of my vaccination stuff, COVID stuff onto that get the e-visa, you know, I had to get the booster shot too. I got to the airport and finally, and I'm just all greasy and gross and tired and my body hurts. I get through customs and he's like, oh, you don't have to quarantine, but you do have to take a PCR test within three days. I'm like, wait, I didn't read this anywhere. Another, another COVID test? It doesn't help that I got fully vaccinated and that I already had a COVID test before I got there. I had to get another PCR test. PCR tests, mandatory, are expensive. I got to the airport. I'm like, I might as well just get it done here. You know, I'm not gonna be able to find it in Seoul because I don't speak Korean. Got lost trying to find the COVID testing place. Finally found it. They made me go through a different section for each stage of getting the test. And I got really confused. I had to go to this one, had to get a ticket, had to put in my information, had to go to this other lady. She had to like give me the bottle and the swab, which why do I have this? <laughs> got really confused. I'm mind you, I'm half out of it. Like I'm half asleep right now. Like I'm dead. They gave me this and she's like, okay, now go over that way to the parking lot and get it. I'm like, wait, can you say that again? The parking lot that way. She didn't speak that great of English. I'm like, take this to the parking lot to get tested. And I'm like, okay. So I try to find the parking lot in the airport. And I was just like, I was walking for a long time and I find this on security guard. I'm like, they told me to like take this to the parking lot and get tested. And he didn't speak English either. He's like, uh, self-test. I'm like, this doesn't look like a self-test thing, but um, maybe it's different here. I don't know how that would work. Is there something that lights up? <laughs> I'm, I'm out of it. Like, I'm like, I'm not walking all the way back to the COVID testing center. So I just left. I know I should not have left. I didn't, I wasn't thinking. I, I was so confused. I was looking everywhere for this parking lot I was supposed to go to. I, I was just so confused. So I got in a taxi that was like $60 and it took me an hour and a half, another hour and a half drive to get to my hotel. And I get a message from the, the 
airport COVID place and they're like, um, contacts immediately for inspection. I'm like, fuck. Fortunately, I was able to get a refund and he said, you have to get a test somewhere in Seoul now. So I have to figure out how to get a PCR test here and pay another, was $60, $70. At the airport though, they were very um, kind and they gave me this, I think they're really wanting um, tourism to re start in Seoul, but they're not making it easy to get in. Um, but they, all the people that I interacted with were friendly. It was just all the, the rules and stuff that was not. But um, I filled out a little survey thing and so they gave me a little welcome thing at the airport. Some face masks. Ooh, stickers. A little pop socket things. Some almonds. And I won this pencil. With this little guy. These guys are, I don't remember what they're called, but they're so popular here. And then I got this little present. So let's see what this is. I haven't opened it yet. Is this a, is this a fan? What is it? I needed that after getting off that flight. Use that as a blow dryer. Airports are the bane of my existence. I hate them with a passion. I don't mind the airplane and, and flying and stuff, but airports, every single time I have some sort of problem. Usually when I go places, I know at least one or two people. I don't know anyone here, not a single soul. I don't know the language. I feel very out of place when I don't know a single person, but I'm trying to be strong with this. I've always wanted to come here and I couldn't find anyone to come with, so I just came by myself. And I'm prepared for the, the loneliness, so I know it's gonna happen. Welcome to South Korea. <laughs> I know that was a long ramble, but I had a lot to update you guys on. Let's get into this. This is my first coffee in Seoul. I'm most excited because there's tons of cafes here. Yeah. So I was asking where to get a COVID test and then I accidentally was answering back in Spanish because I'm so out of it and confused. Like, it's very strange um, going from country to country. Right now, I'm gonna try to go to a more cool, bustling area and also maybe try to go to a medical center to get a PCR test, I don't know. I also need to figure out the train um, situation. All right, so. We are buying a card. It took me like an hour to find an ATM. I found it though and then I got some cash out and then I came in here to get the card. I need to purchase the card and then put money on it. Then I'll be able to travel around. Get the cheapest one. This reminds me so much of Tokyo. Um, it's a little different, but it's, it's kind of cool. I'll figure out my way around. I got everything to work. It's a lot of struggles. It's a lot of things to learn. But now I'm going to, don't know what the name is, but it's a big shopping center. I'm glad I conquered the subway system. I feel like I know it now. So I'm grocery shopping now. It is raining and I need to find an umbrella. I don't know what to get. Um, I only have a refrigerator. Let's get some groceries and I'll show you what I got. Okay, I'm back. So I did get an umbrella. I didn't need it because it's off rating. <laughs> All right, so this came out to 1800 one. I don't know how much that is. <clears throat> so I found this 20 grams protein BCAs coffee drink. Sounds just like me. I don't know what these are or what flavor they are. What is that? Is that like an eggplant or? 
some of the cheesy eggplant. <laughs> I don't know, but they look interesting. So I have to try this. I got these, this ramen. I got some bowls because I didn't have any for my ramen that you don't need to cook. And I don't know what these are. I think there's some sort of almond, but it says like mayo. So let's try these right now and see what this is about. Oh, <laughs> what is that? Like spicy mayo. <laughs> I just got snacks um, because I got in the store and they didn't have what I wanted. I just got, I love um, soft jellies. So let's try this. It's so weird being here. Like the other day I was in the country in Pennsylvania and now I'm here in Seoul, not knowing a soul. Like it's very strange. Like I like it a lot, but at the same time, I'm absolutely terrified in, on the inside because I don't have any people that I know around me and it's liberating but oh this isn't what I thought it was I don't remember what kind of fruit that is I know that I know it but what is that but I don't think I want these I didn't know they were candy oh it's mango steam so that's all that's all I got um I don't know what I'm doing I have no like what did I, I got some bowls I kind of just walked around the area a little bit to see what what it's like. I went to Myeong something, which is like a shopping street or something. I didn't really buy anything except for the bubble, the boba tea. But I don't know. I'm, I'm just taking today to kind of figure it out. No one talked to me, but I didn't expect them to. It's like it's kind of it's, it reminds me a lot of Tokyo. That's sweet. Welcome to Seoul!